Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about why diabetics tend to get high blood pressure, okay? Well, first of all, if you're a type 2 diabetic, you have insulin resistance, which means you have higher levels of insulin, okay? So what happens, uh, the insulin's not working, so you have to take metformin or glucophage to be able to get the receptor to uh, accept insulin. But then, on the other hand, because there's no return communication to the pancreas, the feedback loops, you get increased insulin by five to seven times a normal person. If you want to understand more of that, I put a link down below. But the point is that diabetics type 2 have higher levels of insulin, which then cause the retention of sodium, okay? Um, which then cause the retention of water. So they have edema, swelling. And yes, also increased Insulin increases inflammation in the arteries, as well as certain uh, uh, constriction in the tone of the vessels. Um, but the point is that the main thing we'll do is it cause retention of sodium, retention of fluid, increased blood pressure. That's, that's the mechanism. Now, the treatment, of course, is to go on a low salt diet, right? Well, what's gonna happen if you lower salt? You still haven't fixed the high insulin. So now you create a, a sodium deficiency. So you're gonna get weakness, fatigue, constip constipation, uh, things like that because you need a certain amount of sodium for nerve and muscle function. Uh, and then there's, you get put on medication, usually a diuretic, which then has a side effect of lowering potassium. Well, guess what? If you lower potassium, which normally lowers blood pressure, you're going to increase the relative ratio of higher sodium when you, cause, because potassium and sodium work together. So you don't want to lose any more potassium from your body. In fact, one of the best things you could do if you're diabetic is increase more potassium from the diet, a lot of vegetables, and even, even as a supplement as well. And you can improve the situation. So you don't want to necessarily restrict sodium too much. Uh, and then also another side effect from the diuretic is insulin resistance, which will increase more insulin. So the medication end up, ends up aggravating the condition and making it worse, okay? Why? Because it's not treating the underlying cause, insulin resistance. So here's what do you do. Uh, what you want to do is get on a keto program. I put a link down below, which is basically going to reduce your carbohydrates, which will then reduce your a need for insulin, which will then reduce the need for retention of sodium, and you'll find that you'll lose your fluid, you'll actually uh, have normal balance of sodium, and you probably have to consume more sodium uh, because you'll, you won't retain it anymore. Okay? So I watch those links down below and uh, let me know what you think. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated.